All right, we are going to set up a zap that can tag a group of Ontraport contacts when an event is going to occur in your Google Calendar. Um, so Google Calendar event causes the zap to go off. The zap communicates with OP Extras, and OP Extras then goes ahead and tags a whole group of contacts, which you can then um, do campaign automation based on that. So we're going to, you're going to create a new zap and you're going to select Google Calendar for the trigger app. I'm going to go through this fairly quickly. What you care about is event start triggers at a specified time before an event starts. You're going to select your calendar and you know set up all the account stuff things like that the options you're gonna so i have multiple sub calendars so this is the name of the calendar that i that i care about now we get real some real important stuff here the time before you want it to trigger i did 30 minutes so that i could do testing uh, you might want to have a day in advance the reason the whole reason for setting up this feature was so that i can have uh, Automation for our uh, every second Tuesday membership office hours calls because there's not automation campaign automation in Entreport that deals with uh, times like every second Tuesday. But of course, Google Calendar does. So I can drive my campaign uh, based on that. So the idea here would be to have this one day before so I could give them a one day reminder. So in this case, it says 30 minutes. You could change that. Here's a real important thing. You should, in your calendar, you should have consistent naming if you're doing something like we are where we have office hours. So in that case, I would put office hours here and then this zap would only trigger for events that have that in the name. Otherwise you're gonna get it triggering for everything. So it does take a little thought to set this up. So you can go through all your zap stuff, testing, yada, yada, yada. Now you're going to the action here is going to be a webhooks by Zapier. Um, so you're going to select webhooks. What you care about is fire off a single post request as form or JSON. The second one here. The template. Here's your URL, which I will send in the email that you're getting as well. Um, so big long thing, gcal zap hook. The payload type is JSON. The first data pair that you want is your OPID. So if we cruise over to your member area, um, for those of you who have signed up for the beta, the feature beta, um, which is through another form, which you will also get in the email, um, you'll see that you could grab this here. Your OPE user ID is here. If you're just using the mobile contact interface, or if you just signed up for the mobile interface, you, you don't have access to this. So you grab that from there. So it's OPE ID, paste that in there. The tag is the name of the Entreport tag that you want to apply to the group of contacts. So I have a tag called group tag, one. The group, the third key value pair here is the group and the name of the contact group. So in contacts, you will have set up a group called my contact group or whatever you want that contains a group of contacts, a whole set of contacts that you want to apply this tag to. The only reason that I was able to develop this stuff is because Entreport allows us to tag a group of contacts as one operation. If they didn't allow that and I had to go through, you know, contact by contact, um, then it wouldn't have been really a viable piece of software because it would have taken forever. So this is one operation to apply a, a, a single tag to a single group of contacts. And all these other ones were default, I believe. Yeah, you just left all of those as default. And then you go through the testing and, and so on and so forth. And so my suggestion is that um, you set up some, some test uh, a test group, a test contact group, a test tag, and also uh, a test event in your calendar that you can then make this work with. It's going to take you a little time to, you know, prove to yourself that it actually functions the way you want it to. And uh, 
so that you're not firing off campaign automation immediately without having uh, um, just proved to yourself that it, it works the way you want it to. But once again, the whole point of the exercise is that um, now we can drive things out of our Google Calendar. We can drive uh, uh, campaign automation um, out of our Google Calendar. So that's it. Oh, and one more thing to add. So this the Zap is going to tag a group of contacts. Obviously, that would only work once unless you had your campaign remove the tag. So here's an ex a simple example that I use for testing where you can see that uh, it's triggering when the tag is added, sends an email about the event, and then goes ahead and removes that tag. So obviously, your events aren't happening really fast. So it's easy to just use group tag as a toggle where you uh, the zap turns it on and then your campaign turns it off.